হ্যালো আসসালামু আলাইকুম কেন ভাই আমি হ্যালো ইয়া ওয়ালাইকুম আসসালাম ওকে সো আই হার ইউ ওকে আলহামদুলিল্লাহ আই এম ফাইন এন্ড ইউ আই এম ফাইন আলহামদুলিল্লাহ ওকে সো নাও উই কন্টিনিউ ফ্রম आवर प्रीवियस ক্লাস হু ইজ নট কমপ্লিটেড ফ্রম হিয়ার উই ট্রাই টু কমপ্লিট ফ্রম হিয়ার সো বেসিক্যালি দিস ইজ দ্য অ্যানাদার টপিকস अबाउट दैट প্লিজ ক্লাসিফিকেশন yeah please uh, yeah uh, i have no uh, video only mm-hmm. i uh, attach the code but unfortunately i didn't open it i didn't find time but okay, if no uh, problem i will explain it from you. uh start and then finish it there's no yeah, problem okay i will continue there's no problem i will start the, from the beginning part okay okay, okay. so let's go yeah so basically in this time we try to discuss about that um, lithological classification okay so basically here you can see the paper about that uh, lithologic classification using the multi level spectral characteristics okay so we are using at the different types of multi level spectral characteristics and we can easily classify the different types of lithological classification using the different types of uh, multi level spectral characteristics different types of lithological so in this time i also send you the paper uh, you can also try to read about the paper then you can easily get the idea the different types of um, information about the lithological classification how we can easily classify the lithological feature and classify the different types of uh, lithological area okay and also uh, how we can easily use the different types of band combination different types of uh, spectral okay then we can easily identify the different types of rock limestone sandstone quartz so different types of things we can easily uh, get the idea okay and we can get the different different about their um, uh, spectral curve okay for the different different so you can see this is the limestone quartz basel okay so for the different different uh, feature we can get the different different uh, they are spectral signature or spectral curve about that so in this time it's the paper uh, they are mainly used here the lens 7 okay lens 7 etm this uh, image they are used in here and after that they are uh, uh, put some uh, assignment uh, there the correction about that image they are also done about that and they are used at the different types of uh, spectral signature okay so this type of spectral signature how we can easily use in google earth engine platform how we can easily use the different types of band combination i already show you about that okay so as you can see the um, um, uh, band 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 all of those band here are including here and then uh, also gives the classification of the rocks okay classification of rocks and analyzing the spectral characteristics okay so using the different types of spectral characteristics we can easily classify the different types of rock okay and also make the classification yes. map about that so here you can see about that quartz 1 quartz 2 quartz so different different we can get the different different spectral signature okay or spectral mm-hmm. curve about that also you can see about that uh, oa plan and also about that also you can see the spectral okay so finally we are using at the different types of spectral curve and or spectral signature and then finally we can easily you can see this algor- algorithm about that mainly they are using at the landsat 7 images okay and from that spectral analysis uh, from the landsat 7 they are used at the different types of spectral analysis and also use at the band ratio okay so how uh, we can easily use the spectral analysis and band ratio i already uh, covered this part okay as well as uh, they are also use at the geological map and also take the some rock sample okay suppose they are use the rock sample and in this method they are use at the superposed classification please. yes please come at my screen okay yeah 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 okay. Yeah. Yeah. Please maximize the screen. Yeah. Yeah. So now it's okay. Yeah. So guys, this is the uh, about the algorithm how they are use the Landsat ETM and use the band ratio and they are using the supervised classification. Okay. 
So using the supervised classification, they are make the different types of uh, sandstone, granite, basalt, okay. And finally, they are also used at the field verification, okay. So mainly they are used at the supervised classification method mm -hmm. and classify this type of rock. And finally, you can see the result about that. And mainly geological map, we can easily uh, get the geological map for the different region. We can easily find out the geological map. Okay. Suppose any region, you can easily get it from the website or different sources. You can easily get it. Yes. And finally, they are create this. You can see the different types of rock classification map in here. Classified this image. You can see. So simply they are uh, use the rock classification map in here and types about this okay so in this step here i already show you about that okay and previous class we already uh, take the some training point from our satellite images you can see so mainly uh, here i use the landsat satellite imagery and from this landsat satellite imagery i can simply take the some training point such as water vegetation build up barren land and rock okay so here you can see the code about that so first of all i simply uh, take the training uh, this is my study area and from that i can get the area for the asir okay i can get the area for the asir this is the asir and you have to collect the training sample for each classes okay you have to collect the training point for each classes so in this time in this satellite images i just apply the different types of band combination okay so i use the different types of band combination or spectral signature i use the different types of spectral signature and also use the different types of band combination okay and then collect the some different types of training point okay and after that we need to merge all of those training points such as water you can say the water vegetation build up barren land and rock so all of the training points i simply merge after that here i use some uh, extract need to extract the band pixel value for all samples okay so i just simply use this type of band okay and then simply uh, take the training sample basically it's make the training data set suppose you can see when i click on here i can get extract all of those band pixel value i extract all of those band pixel value from here i can easily get in here so all of those band pixel value i can easily get in here you can see the B, uh, 11, 12, B2, all of those band pixel I can easily get in here. So in this time, here I get the training point, okay? So further, I need to make the classification, okay? So this is my training data set, okay? So now from this training data set, I just need to use this training data set and make the different types of, uh, make the classification, okay? So in this time, I use the supervised machine learning method, so mainly uh, in this time I use that the random forest classification. Okay. So I need to use that the random forest classification. So for that I can simply go to the docs tab and search here. Random forest. So here I can get the you can see the random forest classifier. So here I can find out the random forest classifier. So in this time I use this classifier and classify this satellite images. So just I simply copy. And I also send you the previous class recorded video about that. It's also available for me. So then you can easily get the better idea how I can do all of those things. Okay, so I also send you the previous class recorded uh, video about that. You can yeah, easily yeah, get yeah. The, about yeah. the idea. Okay, yeah. so after get, when I can get my training data, so now this training data, I need to apply the machine learning. Okay, this training sample, I need to apply the machine learning. So for that, I simply copy and paste here my um, supervised, you can see it's a random forest classifier, okay? After that, I simply move all of those things, simply copy from and remove it from here. And then uh, I just need to train, okay? So this is my model, okay? So this is my random forest model. So this model I use for train, train my data set, okay? So use the train function, and put all of those things one by one so just make a curly bracket start and also curly bracket in, in here okay so after that you can see feature okay so now what is the feature feature is that for your training sample 
Okay, your training sample is it's a feature. So in this time, I just copy the training in my whole data set. I simply paste in here. Okay, then class property. Class property, this value mainly it is the property name. You can see the property name is the class. So all time we are put here the property name is the class. So just I simply put here the property, class property name is that. Class. Input properties. So mainly this input properties will be all of those band. Okay. So which I used in here. So mainly you can see I use here all of those band as the input properties. I simply copy the variable name bands. And paste here. Okay. So after that I simply move that. So now all this is the clarification, teacher. Yeah. Uh, uh, Lancet 8 or Sentinel 2? It is, it's Sentinel 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sentinel, because yeah. I see, uh, yes, because I see 12 uh, bands. Yeah. That is Sentinel, yeah. And this is my classifier. So this classifier, I simply mm -hmm. store it in a variable. Suppose I put the variable name is that classifier. Class C. Here. Okay, so now it is stored in here. Okay, so now this is my machine learning model, random forest, and now this machine learning model is stored in this variable classifier. So now when I add this classifier with my image, then it will be classified. I can get the classified image. So now how how I can get that? So take a variable. Suppose I put the variable in the classified, and then uh, I simply call my image. So call my image emails and select all of those bands okay then use the function classify function and then simply copy the classifier name simply copy that name and paste here okay now i simply put at the hundred it's my decision tree number okay so now i want to show the result so may i put add layer and call the classify and paste and now i add here the some color plated so mean it will be start from the zero and max up to zero one two three four okay just four and use add the plated function and make the different types of color plated such as i will show the water as a blue color and then vegetation as a green color then uh, build up area i want to show as the build up area is red color then uh, barren land is a yellow color and then rock i want to show the rock as a pink color okay so now click to the run in this time you can see i can get the classified image and it mainly class of those features such as water body vegetation uh, rock all of those things will be classified using the supervised machine learning method So now I check the result for the classification. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. So in this time, here you can see, here I can get the pink color. Yeah, so mainly the pink color. Okay. This pink color is mainly about the different types of rock. And the, this type of, uh, you can see the uh, green color. It's about the vegetation or crop land. And we can get the yellow color. Yellow color is the barren land. And this type of um, red color, identify about the settlement. Okay, so I simply zoom in, then it will be better, and also see the result compared with the satellite view. Google satellite view also take in here. You can see. 
Yeah, you can see the water body. It's a water body as a blue color. So you can get it very clear. And we can get the. You can see in this time it's showing the that is a uh, settlement. Okay, so that's why you can get the red color in here. Yeah, you can say red color. Red color is a settlement. It is a settlement. It is a and after thing it's still showing pink color is a rock. And no, yellow color is, is the barren land. Rock. Barren land. And mm -hmm. pink color, barren pink land. color is that it's showing about that rock. Okay. And yellow color is showing about that, about that it's a barren land or fellow land. Okay. So this what type of land. Mean, what we mean by barren land? Barren land means that uh, there is the no vegetation, there is the no water, there is the no anything, just a open space, okay? Or fellow oh. land, fellow land, okay? Okay, and in this time, we are also classified the rock. Rock, it's mainly about that uh, contained of the different types of mineral, okay? But barren land, it's not uh, just is showing uh, about the flood, there is the no contain about the barren land about that. Okay, and it is the red color identify about that uh, our specific settlement, and green color identify about the vegetation or crop land about this region. Okay, so now I can get the result look like that. So after creating this map, first of all, I need to check about the accuracy of this map. What is the acceptance level of this map? Suppose ninety eight percent accuracy mm -hmm. assessment. So in this time, I need to check about the accuracy. What is the accuracy of this map? I need to check mm. it. As well as I also need to calculate the area. How much build up area, how much settlement, how much water body, how much rock area, how much vegetation is available for this region. I also need to check about that. Okay. So now let's go about that, how we can easily um, check about that accuracy, how we can easily calculate the area of these classes. So this type of things I will try to show you that. So let's go.